Hey, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Bant Legends. So this is definitely uh, a Legends deck where this has a, a very, it's a very volatile uh, Legends deck. We're going to have some games where we just don't really do anything and some some games which are just incredible where we do a whole lot of stuff and and we have huge Kamal's Druidic Vow for a bunch of permanents and everything. Basically, our curve starts at 5 and it ends at 5. <laughs> We're wanting to play 5 mana cards. That is what we have. We have Teferi, Vivian, Tezzeret, Tatiova, Tristani, Lyra. Just every, you know, got all of the 5 mana cards. Um, and uh, so before that, so to get to 5 mana, we have our 4 Llanowar Elves, our 4 Grow Spirals that we get to use as ramp to help get up to 5 mana. And um, Search for Canta can help us hit our land drops. We're, of course, playing 26 lands because getting to 5 mana is so important for our deck. But the power level of our deck and just the power level of these cards is so incredibly high. And um, we, we, we do have the ability to sometimes have, like, Wrath Compassion at end step and then start giving all of our stuff Flash and, you know, Flashing in Shalai to protect Wrath or, you know, Flashing in some of these other things. The, all the stuff this deck can do is pretty incredible, and we have a bunch of Planeswalkers, a bunch of Legendary Creatures getting ready for War of the Spark coming up. New addition to the sideboard is Jace Cunning Castaway for control. I used to have two Nezahal, but I didn't really like them. They just cost so much, so I have a third Teferi and a, and a Jace Cunning Castaway for the control decks. Um, and there we go. We're going to use the Azorius Leaves for the first time. And let's get some Bant Legends. See if we can survive and start slamming five mana mythics until our opponents concede. Okay, so I'm supposed to say Lyra. Oh, can Matthew? Can you can you put the no put the link for the straw poll in the in the that's the link that needs to go to the Discord. The the wheel thing. I'm 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 gonna make the wheel, Matthew. I'll I'll make that with decks that are ready and everything. I don't need other people to, to add decks for that. That uh, I'm I'm gonna make that. Hmm, mono blue. Mono blue is good at countering five mana sorcery speed stuff. Wasn't really expecting a trade there. Is there an infinite combo with Pirate, Jace, and New Bolus? I'm not sure. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, it's Drake's. Not Mono Blue. Does, Jay, does the new bolus start with five loyalty? So you can play new bolus and just and, and just minus five it immediately and make copies. I do not have any song or any decks built around song speaker. All right, we'll see if we hit our fifth land drop or not. Hopefully. So we got some good ones here with Lyra and Vivian.
perfect. So let's start with Lyra. Our opponent's kind of playing like they have dive down. They've just, you know, had this blue mana up and everything. Let's start with this. Yes, I have heard about Ral with the infinite combo with that with a couple expansions or, or things like that. Okay, so they definitely do have dive down. How do we want to block this? I think we just block them both, see if they have two dive downs. Oh, that is way worse. That is much worse. I was not even considering dispersal. That's each opponent. That is really bad for me. Okay. Well. Let's see what kind of defense we can play here. Dang. Hey, what's up, Boot? We got to our sub battle goal. So we're going to be having the sub battle stream here pretty soon. You get to vote for what day you want to have it tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. Negate seemed pretty good. This is a lot of cards, though. All right, so I'm taking out Amara. I'm taking out Tatiova, Tristani, Raph. Doesn't match up very well. Druidic Vow. And this is 64. We go with like three negates. This Karn doesn't. Karn isn't too good in this matchup either. Shalai is basically only good when we have Lyra. Shalai on her own isn't spectacular. Alright, let's try this. I have not Chill Monkey. I haven't seen those at all. Alright, I think this time I need to try not killing my Land War Elf. I thought they were mono blue, you know how they went island island and everything. They were not. There's no accounting for of my If we had another blue source and I was going to be able to for sure play Growth Spiral and then search for Escant, I would have done that. This tech gimmick is worth it. And I'm going to get the Escanta in play here. Which I guess I should play land and then Ascanta first to play around Spell Pierce. But our opponent does not have Spell Pierce. Like before attacking, I'm referring. Poor Hintlin Harbor doesn't get a fancy looking card. This is our first time playing the Dovin. The Dovin looks nice. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Hmm. 
Don't think we need that one. There is elegance in simplicity. All right, we can ultimate Dovin next turn. It's not bad on, I guess it'll be our tur turn five, ultimating Dovin. Most situations, no matter how dire, are easily remedied. Okay, so definitely taking Tezzeret and, I only have one blue mana though, right now. Tezzeret to Fairy. And then do I actually just take Glacial Fortress? Just to have second blue? So I can go like... Probably just want Ruinous Blast. Hmm. I actually just want second blue. But yeah, right now we can... We could cast Blast, but it gets rid of both of our creatures and their Crackling Drake. But Blast is just very good in this matchup. I'm gonna just take second blue. No time for a break. Nexus Gates or Teamer Reclamation for today's LGS standard event. Um, no Nexus Gates. Yeah, out of those two? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would... That's my pick. Okay, I do like blue mana. Blue mana does let us play Tezzeret and have Negate available. It's like the last time that we need to take a land now. With Escanta, we can ditch every other Keep land up now. The pace. Ah. Construct a master builds with ease. All right, and sacrificing Dovin here. Give ourselves another blocker to help protect assault. Tezzera and Teferi. I like the Sun Petal Grove, too. That looks really nice. Man, I can't wait till we can get all of a, all the cards being like this. Okay. So opponent's not playing any more drakes. You know, I really wanted to wait to till they had another drake to be able to blast, but they're not not helping out, not playing any more drakes. So we are just going to go ahead and go ahead and blast away this crackling drake here. This You're battle doing to your favor. record of bad decisions. This will keep an eye on you. 
I was hoping they were going to do that earlier. So we're going to make a third Thopter and then draw two with Tezzeret. success. Brilliance comes easily to me. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. <laughs> Alright, they had enough dive downs. So they're down to two cards left. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm kind of surprised they're using removal now and they didn't just use removal in response to my... If they had didn't speed removal like that, they didn't just use the removal in response to the Tezzeret zero ability to draw two. Hey, Dodger Dog. Balance comes. All right, where is... Hmm. That card's gonna be good. That's gonna be good next turn, though. Silent, obedient perfection. Can we die next turn? I don't think so. I don't enjoy seeing things suffer, but I'll make an We're looking for another Urza's Ruinous Blast. We know we saw we saw one earlier in the Dovin Ultimate that we put towards the bottom. There's four in the deck though. Hey, it's going great today, Zerf. Yeah, definitely having having a fun day here. Okay. So we're gonna casting this vow. Four, five, six, ten, eleven. Or am I looking for another blast? I think it's Pretty certain that I hit a blast with the Ascanta activation. But I kind of want his Val for 11. Let's go Val for 10 and keep Ascanta available. No, just Val for 11. Alright, we'll take Ascanta, Hallowed Fountain. Lyra, Shalai, Temple Garden, Breeding Pool, Forest, Breeding Pool. Wow, there was not, not an Urza's Ruinous Blast in those. So that's one, two, three, four, five, five mana. So not enough to activate Shalai. So kind of checking to see if I want to start paying two life. And I do not. I made you a gift. That can't help you now. Hey, Guy in Shades, welcome back. Thanks for that resub there. Is this to 147. 
going down towards the next sub battle day. That's right, if you're just joining, we we did get to our sub battle day um, goal earlier, so we can vote when it'll work for you, either tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. When when would you like to see the sub battle day take place? All right, I was gonna say like we have to find Urza's ruinous blast. for this moment. So I guess I did by attacking for one there. By attacking for one, I did... That did make it so we didn't get to play the Tezzeret. Guy in Ch Shade says, I really enjoy your stream, Todd. What do you think of Red getting prevent life gain again? I think it's okay. I think that the thing that made the dinosaur uh, rampaging for us on, what made it so good, is that it was just a, a solid 3-mana three 3-3 three, three creature that had a good ability. Uh, I think maybe it had Menace, or I think, or whatever. You know, It was just a, a good creature that also just had that Oh, hey, by the way, you can't gain life tacked on. You didn't really play it because of that. The The card now that has can't gain life, as far as I know, is basically just... is just to bolt. Right, and, and it kind of only does that. And doesn't really do anything else. Like, it's not something that I think that you'd really be playing or basically anything else. And so that, of course, is just not nearly as good. Oh, yeah, our deck is very slow. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so this is a this is a hand that can certainly lose nothing before five. Really hoping to draw um, some acceleration here, especially our, our two mana one would be the best. The uh, you know, draw card and play an extra land card. Yeah, this would no. This is Fibblethip would be awesome in this deck, honestly. Yeah, Fibblethip would be like a four of in this deck, probably. Or I don't know, but about that, but like yeah, Fibble. This this is a perfect Fibblethip deck. Or, not a perfect thibble tip, thibble tip deck, but a deck that would love having thibble tip. All right, so they could have just played the Crackling Drake last turn. Did not play it last turn. And so I don't think we've seen them have so many dive downs. You know, if I just play Vivian, I think it either gets spell pierced or dive down, likely dive down. All right, now it's to run them out of counters. I think they have disdainful stroke also. And it's either, it's either the Tezzeret or the Vivian getting Disdainful Stroked there. You know, of course I want to have Blast be able to exile their creatures. <laughs> uh, scale of 1 to 10, how much did you just want to say Fibblethip like 7 times? 
that honestly was not really a consideration for the words that I was saying. Alright, I think I can go one more turn. No, I can't go one more turn. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? Yeah, so we will have to block with Lyra this turn. Yeah, so I guess if they have removal for Lyra, I'm dead. So I guess I, I should just be attacking then. Yeah, I should not leave this up to, hey, if you draw the removal spell for Lyra or Lyra. I guess what am I supposed to, I'm supposed to say Lyra. If you draw the removal spell for Lyra, then I die. I always survive. You'll see. That's a problem. Niv, why are you legendary? Yeah, I guess... I guess I needed to cast Urza's Ruinous Blast the previous turn. Could have could have gotten countered, though. I thought I could wait another turn. But it would have been really nice to have Vivian there, even though we saw our opponent have a dive down. Yep, this is definitely the card that I lose to the most from Drakes, as we saw yesterday with losing to Drakes from Nia Legends, where same kind of thing, we had answers to all the other Drakes pretty easily, but this one, the fact that it's legendary, usually that's a, a downside, here it's an upside. Oh yeah, we can certainly die, yeah, absolutely. Our opponent just needs like one more spell. Like an, an opt kills us. And I guess they didn't find it. Ooh. I only have one creature in the graveyard. Hmm. All right, that's second creature to the graveyard. Okay. We're still alive. They have seven cards in hand, though. So we're not, not too close to being alive, but we're still alive, barely. Just for that one turn. <laughs> All right, 0 and 1. Because not only does Niv kill you, it also draws you millions of cards. Here, let me do a reset. We're four and a half hours into our our stream here. Being a little laggy. <laughs> yeah, because I can notice that y'all are kind of behind. It's like whenever I was conceding that match on my end is whenever I saw Zephyr say nice. Because, you know, that was the... That was when the Harpooner happened.
So it... I guess the turn I played Vivian was the turn I needed to play... Um, the other one I uh, needed to play Vivian. Or sorry, need, the turn I played Vivian... Wait, I'm in a match? I don't remember joining a match. Did I join a match? Huh. Sorry, the turn I played Vivian was the turn I needed to play Ruinous Blast. That's what I was saying. Anyway, let's focus on our next one here. Uh, Turos says, hey, Todd, do you think green-white value is even more play... Is even worth playing in modern anymore? Is it time to just pay my respects to the decks? Honestly, Tara, it's... I don't... I don't... I just don't play modern anymore. It's been... Um, you know, like six months since I've looked at modern at all. So, I... I don't know. Last time I played modern, Arclight Phoenix wasn't a card. So, I don't... I don't know. So spooky. All right. No, track team not having a good day. Check engine light came on, lost power for seven hours, and you broke your toe? Oh my gosh, what a horrible start to the day. But your wife and and you are starting to look around to adopt a dog or two. So, there we go. Well, I like how you're still very positive, even though you've had a, you know, a real rough day, track team. And I'm glad you're keeping your head up and everything. I've always hated the don't play fair decks in modern thing. That's been a thing for years. As long as I've played modern, people say you can't play fair decks in modern, and that's all I did was play fair decks and have a ton of success. I think that's just... That's something that everybody's been... Or not everybody, sorry. That's something that's been a, a cliche for years that I think is just really lazy and um, just never, never liked that. So, our opponent could have, like, Assassin's Trophy. If I play Tezzeret, they could Assassin's Trophy it and then get it back with Eldritch Reborn. The biggest thing is I do not want my opponent to get my Tezzeret with Eldritch Reborn. That would be, of course, the worstest of news. But where we're at here, being at 11, I, I think this Shall is still my best play. really hope they don't have Assassin's these? Trophy. No, I don't think Modern will ever go to Arena. Would you build a new Grixis Teferi with the Planeswalkers of the upcoming set? Maybe. We'll have to see. I, I don't know exactly what we'd be building, but that's, you know, those are definitely the, the kind of deck that's right up my alley of, you know, having, like, the Grixis Teferi decks. So am I going to want to Druidic Vow for five next turn? All right, sorry, for four next turn. Sorry, that's what... You know, casting it for five is really what we want to be doing. Don't try that again! Because we have so many five drops in this deck. The best best possible thing would just be draw Urza's Ruinous Blast here. That'd be our best possible thing. We just exile their four creatures. Hmm. But the problem is Druidic Vow for four doesn't actually hit very much. So let's try to wait a turn. This will keep an eye on you. 
try to cast it for five next turn. We need it, Tezzeret to stay alive, though. That's that's the big problem, is we need Tezzeret to stay alive to be able to cast it. Remember, because we have to have the legendary creature or planeswalker in play. So, like, if, if they have a Contempt or anything that kills the Tezzeret, then I can't even cast this card. Or last turn, we could at least cast it. So we have to keep Tezzeret alive, and we want to draw a land here so I can vow for five. We need Tezzeret to stay alive and me draw land. Our opponent's likely holding, like, I don't know, Chupacabras or something like that. I don't know. Oh, they got Find Finality? That makes sense. Alright, it can't define as a land. Okay, we'll take it. And activating this first. In case we I hit a, a new Tezzeret. Whew! Oh boy. Man, Kamal's Juridic Vow. What a card. Sonny, thank you. You sent all, all your power this way? Thank you. Thank you kindly. I will take all of these. Uh, these five? Yeah, these five will do. I Trust look me. forward to seeing You'll your mistakes. Me later. Oh, you know those what? will do. I'm not done yet. I'm inspired by a good assault. Oh, yeah. We get our Lanwar elf back too, because of Tristani. <laughs> All right, so you could certainly see our opponent having another fine finality for how they're sitting on cards. They could just have a finality that, that destroys this board, but we still have our three Planeswalkers, even if they have finality. <laughs> that turn was okay. Man, what a card. What a card. We spent seven mana, and we got five, ten... 15, 19, 22, plus the land we're off back, 23 mana worth of stuff. Pretty good. <laughs> this game has more swings than a playground. <laughs> All right, we're get, getting some more blasts in here. Taking Vivian out. They don't have like a ton of flyers for us to uh, Vivian. Or like artifacts or enchantments, not too much of that kind of stuff. Um, we gotta play. Gotta take out one other card. Could take out, I think maybe Tatiova. Yeah, I'm thinking Tatiova. I think it's either Tatiova or Dovin. Yeah, if we would have played four, yeah, we would have. We would have gotten like Wrath and Dovin and like a land. I don't know, maybe maybe not even that. Like we could have just hit like Tristani, Tatiova, Teferi. Take out Search? Why take out Search? Now Search is good. I need to take out like something from this five mana slot with me adding in the Ruinous Blast. I need to take out a four or a five. I mean, my flyers aren't amazing against opposing Vivians. But no, we need to keep all of this early stuff. Search helps us hit land drops and help us find blast and stuff like that. Dovin just kind of makes a couple chump blockers and then dies. I'm going to take out a Dovin. When they have like their creatures and everything, it doesn't really stay alive very well. Search does not let you cast Druidic Vow. 
Read the black box here under Legendary Sorcery. You can cast Legendary Sorcery only if you control a Legendary Creature or Planeswalker. Sir Triscanta is not a Legendary Creature or a Planeswalker. The Sorceries would certainly be better if Sir Triscanta did let you cast them. Yeah, so, yeah, if you want to do a donation deck, um, any any day, any time. I have um, nothing really on the schedule. I have, like, one, one deck to play any time is, like, the only deck that I have for the future. So, um, you know, you get to choose your day and time. Except for, I guess, the one caveat being of what day we're doing our sub-battle stream, which, if you're just kind of joining... Make sure you vote for what day works best for you for doing the sub battle stream. Looks like right now, oh, we've only we've not had we've only had 29 people vote. Now 30 people vote. It looks like it may be Sunday. So just like whatever day that is, we won't be doing any donation decks that day. So that's going to be a day where all day it's just going to be me playing against subscribers here in chat. We'll be playing, um, you know, 1v1 matches, and, you know, full matches, best two out of three, and it'll be a real good time. But one white source so far. I can see our opponent just holding up Contempt there. So I think I want to just make them waste their mana, play the Wrath on their turn. Um. I could see... Yeah, if Sunday wins, I'll probably be able to just... Maybe I could just join early Sunday wins. So no contempt. So just gonna be doing it in normal stream time three to ten, but maybe I we'll kind of see. Maybe I can join a little early, you know, like one or two. Is our opponent sitting on Eldritch Reborn? I guess Eldritch Reborn would not be so good. Oh, I like that. Go ahead, and minus, minus. The when you know about the Shalai in hand, you should still mine us. <laughs> ah, Shalai so good. So I want... I want my creatures to be able to survive finality, or at least the Shalai survive finality. So I'm gonna wait Next time on meet, you won't on so playing lovely. anything so I can activate Shalai if there is a finality. If there's not a finality, we'll just put in one of these planeswalkers at end step. I missed the opportunity to be able to activate them last turn, but you know we have the opportunity to keep our creature above a fina finality. Hey Dirk, welcome back from work.
Okay, fine broker's pretty good. Alright, so I think I want Tezzeret. Yeah. This will be over quickly. It is the ideal subordinate. We'll see how much I need to be worried about finality. Naya is my favorite of the Legends decks. Oh, I know. We are, you know, three weeks basically to the day of Kraken packs again. I despise tyrants like you. All right, so that that just gives us lethal. Our opponent playing that. So we just activate Shalai. And now we have six power in the nothing. air. They are at six. So unless they have a one mana removal spell here. Oh, two mana. They have Land of Werewolf too. They can cast down. Okay. They can cast down. Um... I don't really have a typical number of packs to start, like at the be the, to get at like the beginning of a set. You know, we've only had uh, basically like the the beta started, where like the only sets that's come out so far since beta started has been Ravnica Allegiance. That's been the only one. So I don't have any typical number or anything like that. I have been saving here ever since we got all the packs, so we're at 45,000 gold right now. Getting about an extra two to 3,000 gold each day. So, you know, we have like 21 more more days of getting like two to 3,000 gold every day. And then there'll be a lot of packs, you know, 1,000 gold per pack. So I'll just kind of be spending, spending most all my gold, not every single penny, because we still need to enter events and everything. So we'll be spending a lot of gold on packs. And then I also have wild cards built up. Uh, 21 mythics and 47 rares so we got a good amount of wild cards built up as well for the next set no I don't think Amonkhet's going to be brought back anytime soon Amonkhet's just kind of a, a plane that's ravaged by zombie horde things whatever it is the undead I don't expect it to make an appearance for a long time, if if ever again. What did I just put on the bottom? Okay, yeah. Yeah. We need land. Yeah, I'm definitely gaining gold from the events with the average brew, absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, attack. Love drawing the land. And this is probably some kind of kind of beginner sapperling type deck. Or Twilight Prophet deck. I could valve for one and just see, basically see if the top card's a land. If so, put it into play. If not, <laughs> you don't. Uh, it's kind of a waste of a card, but... We, I mean, we just need lands. That's kind of ridiculous, though, right? It's just... Like, so that would just be, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, put it into play. If it's not, put it in your graveyard. Such a bad card, but it's a twenty five out of forty nine chance that it's a land, so basically fifty percent chance. 
Yeah, I guess the Twilight Prophet does. Yeah, I guess we kind of have to. Come on, land. Yeah. We did it. Whew. Now it just turned into rampant growth. Go ahead. Why don't I make that disappear? Hmm. Blank July gives me the opportunity to. Oh yeah, this only this only starts activating once they have ascend, not immediately. I was like, what card are they finding here? But this gives me the opportunity. If we draw a land, we blast away the Twilight Prophet. Shalai can attack Nebraska for three. Its loss will serve us. All right, let's go ahead and do that. We'll take out the Prophet and the Path of Discovery. And clear away their battlefield. Made a sacrifice of land, so they are at five mana now as well. Oh no! No, I need to wait on my Earth's Ruinous Blast. Hmm. A master of machines. Yeah, time to start drawing some cards. <laughs> so here's we got a poll right now to see what day we want to do the sub battle. Oh gosh. Wow. I'm not finished with you. Wow, I really need to wait on Urza's Ruinous Blast. Holy moly. We're taking 10 there. Another blast. No. Wow. Stack out, we're dead. Yeah, that escalated very quickly. All right, let's get all these in here. And another Dawnbringer. Take out a Tatiova and Tristani. Oh, dang, yeah, sorry, Zoe. Yeah, we got the 12 hour stream today. And yeah, we're going to be doing the sub battle stream here this weekend. You can vote either tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. We hit our goal and started the next goal at 150. We're counting down for the next one. So, where I play against viewers all day, uh, you do have to be a subscriber to uh, face. Obviously, you don't have to be a subscriber to watch because, you know, hope everybody's in here watching and everything. Should be a whole lot of fun playing full matches. Best two out of three. It's, yeah, it's like who, who's in chat 
Um, we'll be picking. I'll be picking a random person in chat. We'll be doing like a, you know, kind of like a giveaway type thing. Um, so it'll be random person in chat who's ready to go, who's ready to battle, and then we'll play the match and then see who's up next and so on. So basically, we shouldn't have like too much downtime of like, okay, well this person's supposed to play at like 4:15, can like where are they at or like these matches went long. And you know, all the like whatever kind of headaches could happen. Okay, so we got only one white source right now. We're not going to be able to play Dawnbringer next turn. Or as the best case scenario, if we knew we had to land on top, we could have grow spiraled, play the land, play July. That would have been best, best case scenario. That's just whenever any other creature dies. Look at my device is finished. As are you. We're one mana away from vowing for five. Which is the number we need to vow for. All right, let's see if we draw Blast. I'm going to be... Enough! I'm going to be drawing two. I don't know why our opponent didn't attack with more things. Or drawing one, I guess. Let's see how you respond to All right, genius. no Blast. We have four blasts in the deck. We need to find one. Everybody play Nexus against Todd. Didn't even get into land out of any of that to be able to vow for for another one. Hmm. We're going for the the pole. King Toll, come on. You know better than that. Don't you don't need to curse. Constructed your doom. Silent, obedient perfection. Please attack Tezzeret and not me. They're attacking me. OK, 
Okay, but not by enough things to kill us, right? Because that's 12, 13, 14. So we got a block here. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11. If they just attacked out, we were dead. But not dead yet. Down to 3. Alright, where's Runus Blast? They're saying good game. Can we just please draw Runus Blast? I know how this ends. No. Uh, how good would it be after after opponent has very easy lethal on the battlefield, doesn't doesn't get it, and then says good game, and then we would just exile their whole battlefield. We have four of them in the deck. Four of them in here. Uh, why why can't we find you? Yeah, so I could have kept one Thopter alive by chomping with Wrath, but yeah, Tezra needs three artifacts in play to draw two. Come on, attack Tezzeret. Dang. So close, if we just draw, draw Nerza's Ruinous Blast. So game one, I cast the Blast too early. Um, you know, I cast a Blast to kill the Vraska and everything, and then our opponent just has uh, two of that five mana Saperling card, and I didn't have another Blast, and so like they take over and, and kill us. And then, you know, we saw game two there. Uh, couldn't get the second White Source for Lyra. Second white source for Lyra, just at all. So like after we played Shalai, if we could have just played Lyra and had those two life linkers earlier, that would have been, uh, you know, a whole lot better for us. Like we probably just would have raced them. But we never drew that second white source for Lyra, and then uh, so then we just played like some Tezzerets and tried to draw some extra cards and just try to find one of our four blasts because we have two in the main, two more in the board. We had all four in, and could not draw one unfortunately. Yeah, maybe faking Settle the Wreckage and then having Surprise Lyra to block. Yeah, maybe that was the line I was supposed to do. That was probably my best one. Fine. There we go, so kind of a disappointing league for Bant Legends, but this is the kind of deck that has like those kind of swings. You know, we played some real close matches and everything, like the against Drakes we were looking good until Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet just does not get Urza's Ruinous blasted away. Um, but, you know, we got to see the power of our deck uh, sometimes, like our, our Golgari opponent. Um, got some really good Druidic Vows, so that's always good. We got that one Druidic Vow for five that hit five good permanents. Um, you know, we got Dovin, Raph, Tatiova, Tristani, and Teferi. That was a really good Druidic Vow. So we got, definitely got to do some fun things, but there we go. Um... Alright, so that's Bant Legend. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't